it's me, Renee, I'm back. And today, as you can see, I've got a tag for you guys. Not original tag. Yeah, I've done a lot of those, but not today. Uh, no, this is a seasonal tag. It's the This the Season tag. Book well, This the Season book tag. And it's kind of about books, but also kind of about the Christmas season. Which we are in right now. I don't know why I'm saying that. I suppose maybe you'll maybe suddenly find this in March. But still, you would kind of guess what it's about from the title of it. The video. Yeah. Anywho. Let's get to the questions. Let me see. Do you have a favourite win to read? I can't really say I do, really. I'm not really one of those people who, like, read specific things during specific times of the year. Like, I know some people, they like, they like to read. Uh, some people like to have... I think I've heard some people say they like to read big, epic fantasy books during the winter because, I mean, because it's so cold and what, you kind of feel like you have more time to read. Or, like, for me, I'm like... I'm an indoorsy person, so I like, like, for me, the difference between winter and summer is that in summer, I read outside, winter, I read inside. It's not really that much of a difference, really, in that way, really. Um, but yeah, um, but yeah, I, I don't really change what I read, like, during, like, what part of the year it is. Like, I might read more romance during February because of Valentine's, but I might as well talk about romance in September. I don't really... Like, it's not like I purely read something during one, one part of the year. I suppose I read, yeah, I think, again, I read non-fiction during November, but it's not like I read only non-fiction in November, and it's not like I read uh, uh, just fiction during the rest of the year. So, yeah, I, I don't really have a question. Question. I don't really have an answer for this one, really. So, yeah, uh, the, the next prompt is find a book with a blue on the cover. Which kind of interesting because like blue is that a very you know, Christmassy color? Well, anyway, I'm gonna answer your question, and I'm gonna pick this book, which actually has blue on the cover and in a title. It is, as you might have guessed, Out of the Blue by Jason June. I read it earlier this year, and yeah, it's a Christmas book. No, it's not really. Uh, but it's a very good book, which I talk about all the time, which you might have noticed if you've seen me, like, since I read this in the summer. I talk about it very often, because it's a very good book. And, um, yeah, Out of the Blue by Jason June, if you like more people, if you like uh, love stories, if you like coming-of-age stories, and, um, yeah, stuff like that, definitely check it out. <clears throat> then we have, yeah, find a book used as a star on a Christmas tree, which, honestly, kind of interesting question, because why would you use a book, like, at the top of a Christmas tree? Uh, I could see maybe the idea, like, if you were, like, a hundred percent, like, you live and breathe and the only, only thing you think about is books, but still, having a book at the top of a Christmas tree, like, how, how would that work? But, yeah, I won't ask any questions, because I do know you that. So, I end up going with uh, Graceling. Uh, and, yeah, this cover. Uh, kind of thinking, like, you have the pretty rose, but you also have the sword. I suppose, kind of, like, as a metaphor, because life is full of struggles, but it's also full of beauty, and you have to take both. And I feel often what you have on the Christmas tree is kind of like symbolic things. At least here in Norway, we are, for some reason, I don't really know why, but we, some, we often have Norwegian flags, which I suppose is not really direct with Christmas, but whatnot. We also have Apple, which I suppose is from the Garden of Eve, and uh, yeah. So, and yeah, we often have angels, and angels is to do with Christmas and whatnot, so yeah, great thing. Like could kind of work as a Christmas decoration, Christmas tree, Christmas tree decoration. This cover, so yeah. <coughs> Sorry, I still have a bit of a cough and have a bit of like a 
the fruit, you know, like in weeks. I mean, it hasn't been like anything else than that, so I haven't really thought much about it, but it's it's kind of annoying. But yeah. Uh mm, yep. Oh, I forgot about this one question while thinking about this because I have some ideas already. Yeah, okay, yeah. Anyway, the question is pick one fictional place that would be perfect for winter vacation. I don't really know. I feel like there's so many places I kind of want to go and so many places that would be nice to go to. I'm gonna I'm gonna okay, I'm gonna firstly I'm gonna go with a fantasy place because like if it because I mean there are some books set in real life places but it's like you can just go there so it's not really like it's not why would you not just go there? Like I feel like here you should say it's something that's yeah, not possible to go a place that's not possible to go to. But yeah, um other than that I am unsure. Because, as I said, there's a lot of nice places in books. So which one would I go to? Honestly. And yeah, I forgot completely about Twitter as well. It is difficult to answer. Um, but, you know what? I'm gonna go... I'm gonna... I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna say uh, the ship in this um, in this uh, series, the Custard Protocol. Well, sorry, it's actually called the Custard Protocol. So that's kind of like it's an airship, that one. And they go traveling. They go traveling around our world, our world, because like it's they go traveling around Europe, around Latin America, around Asia. But it's set in a world with vampires, vampires and um, werewolves and whatnot. So yeah, I kind of think like I suppose yeah, the Casa Protocol is not a place; it's a uh, air, air, air sports, uh, airship. What's it called again? I think it's called something. Yeah, yeah. Anywho, so it's not a place, but it's I suppose yeah. Can you call like a ship like titanic is that a place i mean it's more like a transport thingy but the thing that is kind of a place i'm gonna say the concert protocol and then you can nag me all you want but that's my answer because yeah also then you would meet all these fun people and have adventures with them and um uh, yeah i'm going with this one the custard protocol and then the next Prompt is pick one fictional, which was like one. How's you gonna? How are you gonna do that? But yeah, pick one fictional character you take with you on winter vacation. <coughs> Again, this is so many. I mean, because you're basically asking like, which fictional character do you want to meet, or like want to meet and go on vacation with? And yeah, I want to meet so many people, but I end up going with. Harriet Manners from Geek Girl. I suppose it might be a diff bit difficult because I feel like in our ways very similar and sometimes you kind of want someone different than you when you're traveling and stuff. But I also feel like Harriet is more organized than me, so she would like, she would remember to pick, she would pack more stuff than I would remember to. She would research a place while I kind of like to go into some places or I forget to research. So yeah, Harriet Manners, I think she would be uh, quite a nice. Traveling buddy, so yep. Yeah. <coughs> mm, okay. Then up next we have. Let the blah blah blah. Name a book on your wish list this year. Uh, a bit difficult and also also kind of like difficult because I kind of yes I always do try to check out like what books are coming out like next year and stuff like I like to look forward to books. But at the same time, at least right now, I kind of feel like I want to stop buying books. Okay, that's blasphemy. Stop buying so many books because I have a lot of books that I have not read. And also, there is a library. You don't really have to buy all the books. Also, I could cheat that with like just listen to audiobooks because the audiobook app they have has like a lot of newer books. But yeah, still, uh, like I'm gonna answer this question because I mean. Still, like, if someone buys me books for Christmas, I'm not gonna say, No! You bought 
with this book. I'm mad. No, I'm, I'm not gonna do that. Of course. Not. Uh, so yeah, I started to mention a market of dreams and destiny. Daily. It's recommended by Gail Cagger. Uh, I mentioned her books before in this video. Uh, I love her books. I love I love her recommendations because she recommends books every now and then. And also, the cover of this one is just so so beautiful. I mean, yeah, I suppose I have it. I have it. Yeah, I have it on audio actually, so I wouldn't really need to buy it. Well, I suppose it kind of needs because the cover is so beautiful, so you kind of cover by. I don't know. But also, yeah, why am I mentioning this? Because, like, is it already out? Is it coming next year? I don't remember. But I haven't not read it yet, so, yeah. Anywho, uh, this is my answer. I suppose, also, yeah, a book on your wishlist doesn't have to be a new book. It could be just a book you don't own or that I haven't read. And I have not read this or that recent to an audio book yet. So, yeah. A Market of Dreams and Destiny by Trip Gailey. Is my answer here. Uh, and then the next question is give me a little moment. <clears throat> Favorite holiday drink, treat, and movie? So this is more like a yeah, chatting question. Uh, third holiday, holiday drink. Uh, I'm gonna go local, so you might be like, yeah, okay, but I won't say it anyway. Uh, so here in Norway, well, also I'm gonna cheat, I'm gonna say two things, but yeah. Here in Norway we have a Christmas soda, actually, we we love us, well, we love us a lot, well yeah, we have some Norwegian soda versions, as well as the like, traditional like Coke, Fanta, all those big brand sodas, we have some Norwegian sodas as well, and yeah, we have Christmas soda, which has been a thing for like, I want to say at least 10 years, maybe 20 years, but yeah, for a while now, like lots of different, the, um, the beverage companies, drink companies, lots of different companies make a Christmas soda version. I love them, or yeah, Christmas soda products. A lot of them are red, but lately some of them are brown. And it's like, why would you have a brown? Because at least, I mean, you can always think of like a red as like the Christmas color. But yeah, I do like all the missing, which I feel like kind of, it's kind of like a traditional one. And I was kind of thinking like, yeah, if you ask me to describe this, I would kind of say, like, it tastes Christmas, but to describe, like, what it tastes like, I don't know, it, it tastes sweet. But it's, I suppose it's kind of like one of those things where it's kind of difficult to say, like, it tastes like this or this. Like, for example, Coke, Coca-Cola, you can't really say it tastes like, it tastes like berries or something, because it's just, just kind of this Coke taste, and yeah. Christmas soda, it's just kind of this sweet, good taste that you can't really describe it in any way, any way else. At least not. I can't really. It's a bit difficult to say. So, yeah. I suppose, because you find some things, like, in Ikea, though. So maybe you find Christmas soda in Ikea? I feel like it's a kind of Norwegian thing. But maybe you have it in Sweden. I can't say that you don't, because I don't know what's the control. But I do like feel like it's, it's not like I don't feel like it's something you have all over the world, but yeah. Uh, and then also I'm gonna mention gulag, which I've seen some people like uh, translate into like Christmas, uh, like a hot toddy or something. But I feel like it's kind of different. And also yeah, once again I kind of feel like how would you describe gulag? It's it's kind of like a warm. It's a warm beverage, and you can have wine in it, but you don't have to really have it in it. So it's, it's not like it has to, it's not a wine beverage, it's not an alcohol beverage. It's kind of like a warm tea thing. I suppose it's kind of more tea than um, than coffee, and it's not really chocolate. It's kind of, yeah, it's kind of tea-ish. And then you often have nuts in it, and raisins in it, and uh, yeah, I very much enjoy that. And uh, yeah. And then as a Christmas treat, honestly, that's kind of I have to say pass because I kind of like so many chocolate, uh, chocolate, so many Christmas cookies and stuff. So picking one, honestly, too difficult. I'm not gonna pick one because I can't. And then last, um, what's a Christmas movie that you enjoy very much? <coughs> Uh, I like a lot of them, and 
because I used to like love, love actually. Now, like this last few years, I'm kind of slightly tired of it. I'm, I don't really feel like I have to watch it anymore. But the holiday, I'm very much enjoying the holiday. I, I love that movie. And uh, yeah, I kind of feel like that one for me is kind of taking over the place of love actually. Maybe not. May maybe. It kind of feels like it is, in a way. I'm not sure. Maybe it is. But yeah, that is the this the season book tag. I hope you enjoy it, and if you want to do it, tag your it, and um, I'll see you soon. Bye.